guys my name is Knox. welcome back to my channel and we talk about everything around employment so if it's your first time here go ahead and press that subscribe button guys today i just want us to talk about things you should not be saying during a job interview i've had a lot of candidates make um, this mistake of sharing or saying things that makes them not get the job and so today i made a few notes of things that i've had so if you are watching that's good because you will make sure that you don't make the same mistakes first things first never talk bad about the company it's either the company that you are currently working for or the company that you previously worked for so nothing bad about your boss nothing bad about um the person maybe that you were reporting to nothing bad about the team and nothing bad about your colleagues it's very easy to make these mistakes, especially when you are being asked um, one question like, why did you leave uh, or why are you leaving or why do you want to leave your current company? Most people share more information and I don't know if I should say more information, but they share things like, no, I think my manager is horrible. My boss doesn't like me. My boss is like all these things. So when you do that, what the company is thinking is you probably going to do the same thing should they give you the job, right? The next thing is you're going to get a job, stay with them and start looking for all the negative things and go to interviews and say the same thing about them. So be careful of what you say um, about the previous uh, company that you worked for or the company that you are currently working for never say anything bad never no matter how they treat you if they treat you bad and you are so unhappy that you want to leave it's fine it's for you to know but never share that in an interview there are so many ways to to share that you are looking for growth or maybe you are in the job market for whatever reason without you painting the boss or the company that you previously worked for or saying anything bad about them because they'll probably think you're going to do the same thing and the chances are high that you, they're going to give you a job and you're going to start looking for all the negative things you're going to do the same thing with them another thing guys uh, i know looking for a job is very difficult um it's not the easiest thing ever it's such a draining process it's too much work it's too much it's it's an emotional roller coaster on its own and sometimes you finally get an opportunity or you get invited to an interview and you go there and you show this desperate side of you where you end up saying i'll do anything and everything to get this job guys anything everything you want to think about that first <laughs> so never mention those things number one it shows that you are that much desperate companies when they are conducting interviews they know you are on the job market they know you are open to seeing what is out there where you can fit companies um, that you want to work for hence you are on the job market no matter how desperate no matter how much you want that job never say i'll do anything and everything because you are just opening a door number one they wouldn't hire you because they can see that you are desperate and sometimes it's not a good thing to hire a candidate that shows desperation to that level so be careful um of such words like i'll do everything and anything like i really need this job i've seen candidates that say that oh my god i need this job you can show that you like the company and you want to work for them there are ways and things that you can say to show that you are really interested and you would love to be part of their team without you saying things that will make you look very desperate and then another thing guys don't ask questions about the salary especially on your first interview most of the time when there's a position open companies will be very open about the salary range some companies will tell you exactly we can't pay more than 35000 rand or some companies will say this position is paying between 22 to 35000 depending on your experience most of the time companies don't really hide how much they want to pay hence they don't want to waste their time inviting you for interviews only to find out that they can't afford you or you are getting paid way more 
than what they can offer. So it's very important that you ask those details um, as soon as you get contacted, like after you ask to be sent a job specification, you can ask how much is it really paying with the person that is contacting you. But when you go for an interview, the longer you wait to ask about money, you have a best chance to actually negotiate. Um, so I would say don't ask on the first interview. Most companies will actually ask you, um, that how much are you currently on and what is your expectation? But should they not ask you, the person that contacted you probably did ask you about how much you are getting paid or some companies would even ask for your pay slip so they know that this person we can afford and you can proceed with interviews and all those things. So once you have been told or you are fully aware of the range that the position you are being interviewed for is paying this much, reserve how much is this company paying for now until maybe second third interview they are preparing your offer you know then maybe you can bring that up but most companies if they've got your pay slip they're very reasonable and if they did ask you before the interview how much are you on and how much would be your expectation and then they invite you in an interview it's showing that they can afford you unless you change your mind. You say you want 25,000 and then you just sleep and think about it and say, well, this company looks like they have money. So now I want 35,000, which is you being really unreasonable. So try to avoid asking such things. Um, also, one of the things that I know most people make mistake when they are in interviews when you say i can handle everything every situation bring it on things like that number one you are not a superhero you are just a human you are not perfect so if you show that there is a room or things that you want to polish and improve on and these things come up in questions like what are your weaknesses companies love 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 those questions and when, once they ask, they look at you and they want to see how you react, how quick you can react and how quick you can respond to that question. The longer you take, it shows you don't know yourself that much. You are not fully aware of things that you need to work or improve on. So you are not a superhero. Like I said, you are not going to save the day all the time. You have your days where you are down, where you are up. You have things that you need to improve on. You have things that you are really good at which are your strengths, things that you are proud about yourself and you've seen yourself doing so well in certain situations. So don't always come across as this best thing all the time when you mention yes and then I do this and then me, I then do this. You know, I know my colleague did this, but me, I did this. So you come across as uh, this person that just, just so perfect. We all know no one is like that. So it's okay to be very honest about such things that there is a room for improvement. Another thing, guys, that I want to share is there's quite a difference between being cocky and being confident. And I've seen this a lot. There is a very thin line, but trust me, they can tell if you are being too cocky. Number one, one of the things is when they ask you about things that you have achieved, they ask you about maybe they say give us a scenario where you know something happened and you had to show that you can make decisions those questions around the um coming across as cocky this is you and this can be seen through your body language and your tone you know when people start taking that back seat and say yeah you know me yeah and then i did these things it's it's good to to brag about things that you have achieved because it's a good thing it's those um, achievements that you want to share in an interview it's to show the company that hey listen as much as I might not be the best and perfect person but I am able to do one two three and in situations like this so being confident is one of the greatest things that you can bring in an interview but make sure you don't overdo it to a point where you are becoming too cocky because again the person that you're going to be reporting to who is normally part of the interview um and is also interviewing you and asking these questions start to check your work ethic and how you work and things like that once they see this quirkiness it shows also that you don't have the willingness to learn because you know so much you're the best thing out there like 
the company needs to hire you like you're such amazing person and they will feel you are not easily to manage or to be part of the team because you're just going to bring that thing like I know so much you can't tell me more like I've done this before and you won't open a room to improve or learn so make sure that you are confident but you don't become too much to a point where you are being seen as being cocky or bragging too much I hope I'm, I'm, I'm very clear another thing interviews guys it happens that you get invited because someone uh, who works for the company has recommended you and they say hey send the CV let's say there's a position and I say well I know someone that can do the job and then they then I ask you for your CV then I send to the hiring manager and the manager is like yeah I'm open to seeing this person when you get there guys don't mention things like uh, yeah you know uh, since Knox recommended me Number one, they know that you were recommended. So it looks more like what you are saying is, I've got the job and we're doing this just for formalities. Remember, if you are recommended, you still need to show, you need to tick the right boxes, you need to score high. Maybe not high, high as the other person because being recommended is one of the good things. You are walking in with a bit of percentage in terms of you getting a job, but it doesn't mean that you'll get a job. So you need to put in as much effort. And I've seen people not doing so much research, not preparing fully for an interview because at the back of their minds, if I am recommended, I have a higher, in fact, I've got the job, not that you have a higher chance of getting a job. So make sure you don't mention those things. They know about it, but they don't want to hear you saying it. So it's one of the things you shouldn't be saying when you are having an interview. Um, another thing that, guys, you should really... Uh, uh, really consider when you are in an interview or during the interview. Let's say a company is like manufacturing or whatever, they have a product or they're in media where they have services or products that you can have access to. Never say I've never used it. So let me make an example. Let's say Clover and you've never tasted any of their cheese and any of their juices, any of their milk. Guys, don't say things like, I don't know your product. I have never eaten. I've never tried. I've never used it. If it's um, whatever, lotion, whatever company it is, but if they've got a product that you can access or a service that is easily accessible, make sure as much as you are doing your research, if it's something that you can buy and taste, because they're going to ask, what do you know about us? And they want to ask questions that will show that you are loving their products or you've tried one of their products or you are fully aware of what exactly they're all about. I remember we, I had a client where I was sitting in an interview and such a question came through and a candidate was like, yeah, I don't even use your products. I've never, in fact, I've never tried it. And at the back of my head, I'm thinking, okay, you shouldn't be sharing this. You want a job. You want to work for this company. Yet you do not try their product okay one one last thing guys i've shared this previously when they ask you about your goals and where you see yourself in certain time or in certain number of years please never say you want to run your own business if they say where do you see yourself in the next five years or what are your five-year goals never say i just want to be my, my own boss i want to be the ceo things like that because again, why are you looking for a job? They know that you are looking for a job for now. And as soon as your things are sorted, you are out and gone. So those are the things that you shouldn't share. It's just the thing, one of the things that are they good for you and your friends, not in a job interview. It makes them think, well, let's not consider this person as an option B. Because then they will think, if you are running a company on the side, you will probably do your side hustle during the work hours that they pay you for. And, you know, there's going to be that trust issue thing. And listen, there's someone else who's got your skills who looks like they are perfect candidates. They'll always go for that person. So, guys, I hope these were helpful. I know there is more to this, so, but these are um, more that I've, I could remember now. One, one, other one as well. Never ask, what do you guys do? Or what is this position about? 
okay it shows that you have not done the research about the company you have not done properly research about the position that you are being interviewed for like how do you just walk in into an interview not knowing what position you are being interviewed for not doing any not n- any research about the company like why are you there you are being interviewed to do what but there are questions that you might want to know about the position let's say you get a job specification and there's a breakdown of exactly the duties and what are the skills that they're looking for in a perfect candidate and those things are there but maybe things like how big the team is the position is reporting to who you can ask those questions but no one will ever invite you in an interview not giving you anything to prepare or help you prepare in terms of what exactly this position entails in terms of like what would be your duties or responsibilities so do your research if you speak to someone and they invite you over for an interview one of the things and i always say this please please ask for a job specification ask if their website is down and maybe they are doing some maintenance ask for anything whether it's a company profile something that you can read something that you can maybe do research check them online are they on linkedin are they on facebook are they on twitter like make sure you're getting as much because you don't want to be there and asking questions like what do you guys do like you don't know why would you want to work for the company like you didn't do your research it it exposes you and trust me they're not going to consider you because you didn't take this seriously you didn't do your research you need to know what the company does and the position but you don't have to know everything about the company i hear a lot of people saying oh my god i'm stressing i need to prepare six hours and check them out in terms of what they do guys you won't know the ins and outs about the company but know enough that you can comfortably and confidently sit in front of those people and show that you understand the company is about this the position is about this so that at the back of your mind your answers you already know how you're going to link you and your skills with what the position wants and how the company is I hope guys this was helpful. So, if you really think this was really good and helpful to you, go ahead and put that thumbs up guys and if it's your first time here, go ahead and press that subscribe button. Hello guys, I'll see you guys on the next video. Mm-hmm.